we will discuss the process information of auditing system. Broadly, we have to discuss these main things like management of information system audit functions, uh, IS, ACA, IT audit and assurance standards and guidelines. We will discuss what is risk analysis, we will discuss what is internal controls, how to perform an information system audit, how to do a self-assessment for controls and what are the evolving information system audit process. This is our day, our discussion for the day. Before I start, uh, we all should know that there are two types of auditing. One is external auditing, one is internal auditing. Internal auditing requirement is growing because of the increasing business phenomenon. Business is becoming bigger, complex. Information technology, server, ERP systems, security issues, networking issues. There are so many new advancement which arises, which makes it necessary that auditing and information systems and controls should be studied in the IT atmosphere. We'll start our discussion that every management, what is the responsibility, every responsibility of the management is to bring systems of effective control and management and it is related to information technology systems as well. Audit function should be managed and led in a manner that ensure that the diverse tasks for achieved by audit team will fulfill audit objectives. It will preserve audit independence and competency. So when it comes to a system audit, system should be independent, it should be, uh, it should be timely, it should be effective, it should be efficient, it should serve the purpose of the audit itself. How an organization do the uh, information system audits? IS system audit can be a part of internal audit and it can be as an independent group. So we have one qualification called CIA that is Certified Internal Monitor. It's more focusing on internal control and system efficiency and effectiveness. This is one of another qualification which is focusing on the information systems. So it can be a part of internal controls or we can make a separate group for it focusing on the need of information systems. It can be integrated within financial and operational audits to provide our IT related control assurance to the finance or management auditors. If system auditors are provided by an external firm, it can be an outsource function because we can hire some external service provider for the same function. The scope and objective of these services should be documented in a formal contract or a statement of work between contracting organization and the service providers. Generally as in auditing terms, we have charters, we have manual, we have policies, we have procedures. Everything should be documented so it become an audit evidence later. In either cases, the internal audit function should be independent and report to the audit committee. Because the way we structure according to SOCs and uh, corporate governors, that all the shareholders, they will make an audit committee. Audit committee will be com comprised over internal auditor, external auditor and a financial expert. So in any case, uh, to create the independence of auditing function in an organization, we should have an internal audit department that is headed by CAE, Chief Audit Executive, who is going to report to audit committee for the issues arises related to audit and accounting. Let's talk about uh, IS audit resource management. We should, uh, we should have enough resources to have a system audit. And we should have competency that the required knowledge, skills and ability should be available and it should be updating skills, training directed towards a new audit techniques and technological areas. So any new en enhancement in terms of information technology, in terms of uh, knowledge of uh, IS, uh, that should be enhanced, that should be provided to the employees. 
how we plan the audit, there are steps. First of all, we should have an understanding of the business objective, missions, what we want to achieve, what management is targeting at. Then we will understand the business environment of the already, which is which will give us an idea uh, about the requirements. We review the prior of work papers, which is done before. It will help to understand the burning issues, issues that arises in the past, and what issue, so we can develop a strategy to address the issue in the future. We will identify stated contents such as policies, standards and required guidelines, procedure, and we'll see the organization structure that what is is about. If we have an effective IS management, then we should have uh, an audit department which has, uh, which has already have a policy procedure. It will make the work of a system auditor more efficient, more faster. Uh, but if there is no such environment, then we will emphasize on management to build up systems, policies, procedure, so we can check the adequacy and effectiveness of these final units. We will perform a risk analysis to help it identify the audit plan because uh, if the risk is higher, audit plan intensity will increase. If the risk is less, the audit plan intensity will reduce. Then we will set the audit scope and audit objective, which is a starting point. Every audit should have objectives. This is a symptom of management by objective. So once you have objective, you make your plans or you prepare your working paper, it will become effective. Audit, develop the audit approach based on your risk assessment and your objectives. We will develop an audit approach. We will develop an audit strategy. Assign personnel. We will assign the people who are competent, who knows the required knowledge, skills, and abilities to perform that specific areas. So we can get a value added audit results from them. We will address engagement logistics that what where is the site, what other uh, instrument infrastructure we need to conduct our formal IS audits. In terms of IS audit, we should see the effects of law and regulation, that what other laws are prevalent, what other things we have to take in consideration. Special attention should be given to the issues in industry that are closely regulated. For example, if you're a financial institution, if you're a bank, you have certain central bank uh, you, you, regulations. You, some, some industries has SEC regulations, some industries has to follow SOX regulations. So you have to see uh, to avoid uh, banking industry as swear penalties for banks and officers should be banned. Be, unable to provide an adequate level of service due to the security breaches. So certain industries have certain sensitivities towards the regulations. So we should know it will be an added part of our uh, IS audit. Management personnel as, for, as well audit management at all levels should be aware what is the external requirements being an IS auditor relevant to the goals and plan of the organization, what are the responsibilities, what activities, service, functional, and other things they are supposed to know about the management of these functions. How we do management of IS audit functions? First of all, identify those government or other related external requirements like uh, central bank, like SEC, what other requirements they want. We will document all applicable laws and regulations. So if we have a chief compliance officer, we have a chief risk officer, this will add value to our overall corporate governance. Assess whether the management of organization and information system function has considered the relevant external requirement in making plans and setting policies. So this is the ma major role of in management that they should see what are the prevalent law about information security and systems. Do you need third party reviews? Do you need special affiliations for your online payment system procedures? This management has to know. Review internal IS department that address adherence to the law applicable to the industry. We will see 
that it, adherence to the established policies and procedure is being going on through our effective internal control systems. And we'll see data, we will determine that the procedure in place to ensure contracts and agreement with external IT service provider reflect that all legal requirement has been met or not. This is this will be the major responsibility of the management when while they are taking care of IS audit functions.